in the world is experiencing a pretty dramatic skills gap. More than 50% of U.S. college graduates are unemployed or underemployed a year after they graduate. We have a real problem today with the relevance of the experience for many of our students. It's not directly tied to the learner's professional and personal aspirations. There are millions of children in school, but they're not learning. One of the biggest opportunities in education over the next five to ten years is the changes in delivery that we've seen where every individual will be able to access individualized education for them without relying on traditional institutions. So really it's up to the individual to frame their own education now. The student too often is the last constituent that's taken into account. There's such a strong emphasis on teaching to the test that some of these softer skills, which are foundational for success on the test, are seen as somehow less important. If we look at the skills gap, the kinds of things that employers are looking for is the ability to collaborate. Many technologies are meant to teach using a cognitive approach. Increasingly, we're seeing technologies that also focus on socio-emotional skills. These are really different character-based skills and traits that are oftentimes hard to quantify. The New Vision for Education project really is helping to shine a light on the soft skills that are needed for development of students across the world figure out how these skills are measured, how they're taught, and different ways we can use technology to develop them. There's part of knowledge that you cannot actually put in digital format because it will be part of the learning process of meeting someone. And that part will be the one that will differentiate you from other people. Children learn better when they learn with a peer with whom they're friends. I'm interested in technology that makes a bond with students and that uses that social bond to improve the educational atmosphere. There's narrative, there's multimedia, there are interactive capabilities, there's assessment. The question today is how do we use all this available knowledge to develop new ventures and to create new jobs. What we are doing now in Brazil is going to the human resource department, the companies, so we can match make with the course that we provide, like how to work in groups, creativity, project management, soft skills. What we'd really like to see in the future is a change, not just from the employer, but from almost every stakeholder in education, where it's not the degree or where the knowledge was obtained that matters, but it's the skill level and those particular skills that were obtained and the way that students showed those skills. It will require the collaboration and partnership by all the stakeholders. That only is possible with a very powerful leadership. Enabling more students to go through higher education is just a social benefit that's incredibly important the new generation will be much smarter.